All right, welcome back to another episode of Sword Gamers. I'm Scott, and I'm Josh. All right, we're gonna continue going on here, straight up the path. Oh, this poor soul. Yep. Just beat him to death for some money. My money. Is there anything on the side of the rock? Oh, I think we're gonna need a sandwich. A sandwich? Yeah. Uh, we have a sandwich. I have a sandwich. All right, go to town. Uh, something tells me we don't need a sandwich. Sandwich over here, maybe. Bomb, possibly? Oh no, this is that horn thing. We need a horn. Oh. Okay, so we're. Are we not ready for this then? Do we need to go somewhere else? Um. Can we go up more? What's this? Oh, okay, we gotta go this way then. Ah. Here we go. Oh, that asshole. Oh, who's this guy? Who are these two? Uh, I think they are friends of ours. Yep. Oh, nice. We've got some buddies now. Let's get some villagers to kind of help out, actually. Yeah, get a, fill out our party to a full total of four. Yeah. Well, speaking of filling out our party, uh, we had there, for a couple episodes, Kyle was playing with us. Uh, we have... We haven't had him back on the show yet. Not that we don't want him to be on the show. We definitely do. Just uh, hasn't worked out for his timing. But also, his character is kind of a little low level, so we... You know, instead of having somebody just... Uh, kind of bu built him up behind the scenes. and Right. So our plan is sometime next week we're gonna we're gonna take some time and build up his character and get it up to snuff and then he can be back in at the end. The other thing we're gonna do is we're probably gonna have him come back onto Don't Starve. So yeah, he plays that as well. So kind of you know start building a little community on there. We're thinking. Yeah, we got a little little bit of a uh, you know village go or not village, but we got a camp going. We're definitely gonna we're gonna do well. Um, if you haven't checked out Don't Starve, go ahead and check that out. There's links at the end of the video, and there's links in, on our channel. Yeah, just go find it on our channel, and you'll see it. I think we got three or four episodes up by now. Yeah, so there's three episodes out now, uh, and then by the time that you're watching this video, one will be in the queue, because this will come out Monday morning at 10 a.m., the next Don't Starve should come out Monday morning at 11 a.m. Okay. So just, uh... So yeah, yeah, when you're done watching this, head over to Don't Starve and get caught up on that series. Yeah, for sure. It's a, it's a, it's a fun one. Oh, no a weapon. Oh, it's the same weapon I have. Or no, it's not. I just picked it up. I always get confused about that. Plus one strength. I like the weapon that I have already. Yeah. Although I like, I like your weapon more. <laughs> uh, I like this one. We should have gone down to the frog... The frog cave. We can go into the frog's mouth after this. Ooh, one. we haven't seen these villains for a while. No, Let's they've been they've been pretty elusive. Yeah, they've just uh. I guess, oh. Oh man. Oh, I don't like that. Oh, this guy's about to. Oh, and he killed me. Oh, did you take a potion? Yeah. Dang. It automatically did. Oh, since, whoa. Uh, you're alive. He just tossed me like a rag doll. It's kind of a uh, get together. I'm gonna try to do magic if I can. Yeah. I feel like we need to coordinate a little bit, maybe. Yeah. I just used a potion too. That's. I'm just gonna. I'm just gonna blast freezes at them. There you go. Just slow them down. Yeah. Just kind of give us a little bit of a breather. Get them in a line. So that was something that I was curious about. Oh, did we lose our villagers? Ah, uh, we did. Yeah. That's oh. unfortunate. So I was curious about that as to whether we would develop a... There they are. Ooh, or a playing style and a rhythm if we would, like, be having strategy or if we're just, like... Kind of running around. Right. Smashing buttons. Because previous to this station, we've never played video games together. We kind of just... Talked about it a lot, but... Yeah, and then just did it. And we are just like, let's just do it. Let's just. Oh, that's a cool magic. Did he just shoot out some vines that wraps so, around yeah. you? That's. I want that magic ability. <laughs> yeah, we ended up meeting Scott and I when he would shop into my work all the time. I work at a market, selling market stuff, sodas, chips, that kind of stuff. Yeah, that's and. Yeah, one right around the house, right around the corner from my house. So. Yeah, so Scott would come in a lot, and we would talk about video games, and we decided, you know what? 
you play video games, I play video games, why don't we start up a channel and do this, because it's something we both wanted to do. Right. And it's, uh, it's been a lot of fun so far. It's been a bit of an adventure. We're uh, learning as we go. While the show's only been going for three weeks, we've been working on this stuff for about two. five or six. Yeah. Almost two months. Yeah. Two, almost, yeah. A, a, lot of, a lot of work behind the scenes at the very beginning to get everything yeah. uh, just established. Yeah. But now that we've kind of got things going, we're, we're doing much... Feeling a lot more comfortable with it, I know. Right. You know, I, some of the critiques that we uh, heard earlier on this is that thing. I didn't speak loud enough. So what, what I've been working on is trying to raise my voice and kind of, you know, make sure I'm heard better for you guys. Because I definitely well, want to... I, th I think the, the more important the other part was that I had the video or the uh, microphone recording on non-omnidirectional when both of us were around. Ah. Well, it was just on the co cardioid or cardioid version. Okay. Which is, uh, you know, you're supposed to be, you know, five to six inches away from it, whereas, you know, right now it's set to be picking up everything in the room. So. So that should improve the audio. Right. Quite a bit. So, I mean, it's been quite a bit of a learning curve, getting all the, the video edited out, you know, or not edited out, but in the right file formats and the right sizing. I mean, if you... If you've been watching Castle Crashers from the beginning, you notice that our first six or seven episodes were, you know, weird letterboxing. And that's because we, you know, was just trying to figure out how we're recording everything, and it was recording at the wrong wrong resolution. But, not, you know, we're here now. We're, we're doing yeah. much better. And if you don't like it now, tune in next week. It'll be better. We'll just keep getting yeah. better as we go. And so, actually, that's something that I've been meaning to ask the, the crowd and those who are watching. And if you, if you would... Uh, let us know because it is important to us. We we are recording in twenty five sixty by fourteen forty because that's what my you know my screen's able to do here, or at least enable to keep in in the right resolution or the right perspective. Um, do any of you guys watch it at that resolution, or would you want it just at uh, 19, 19, uh, 1920 by ten eighty p? I'm gonna I'm gonna try this now. See what happens. But so far, I want my Ram back. Ramsey, I've missed you. <laughs> yeah, so if you if you guys are wanting a, a higher resolution, you know, 2560 by 1440, let us know and we will we will accommodate. Um, I you know I'm on an ultra wide monitor, so I'm able to get pretty much whatever screen resolution. Uh, it's just a matter of how much time does it take to render and upload. So, I mean, obviously, the bigger it is, the longer it's going to take, so. So, but if you guys are just happy with 1080p... But let us know in the comment box, and we'll definitely, you know, take everything into consideration. Yeah. What you guys suggest, and... I mean, if you're, if you're primarily just watching this on your phone, then, you know, 1080p is going to be more than fine, because you're only going to be watching it at 40, 480, or 360, even. So, you know, I'm going to grab that, because I'm yeah. out of health. Or I'm more out of health than you are. Because they beat Ramsey out of me. Oh man. Hey. Is that big guy on our side? He is. Oh nice. Yeah. I like how all these guys are green. Kind of uh today right now is March eighteenth, so yesterday was uh Saint Patrick's oh, Day. Yeah. yeah, I don't know, you know, if you celebrate it or not. But uh so yeah, um yesterday I decided, you know, me and my me and my girlfriend we would go out to you know, there's tons of lakes here in Southern Oregon, tons of rivers, lakes, lots of outdoor stuff. So we decided we're gonna go out to a lake and just kinda of enjoy the day. It was beautiful sunshine day, you know, really hot. And her and I are both wearing bright green and we we go out to this like little what is an island when the when the lake's full, but at the time we were able to walk out to it. Because it's uh, low enough at the moment. So we walk out to this island and you know we're wearing bright green. I know nobody's seen me yet, but I have a big red beard. I <laughs> yeah. very big red, red beard. beard. Yeah. And uh, those so pictures of you on Facebook, by the way, they uh, they really accentuated your redness. Yeah. So wearing the green. Really the green really brings out the red. Right. So in her hair, her it's oh. slightly red, especially Did you see in the sunlight. Corn stalks. Terrible things oh, happen to yep. corn stalks. Yeah. Refer back to our deadly thirty. Yeah. Pick up on that. So her and I are on this little island thing, and we come walking out from sitting there taking pictures and stuff, and 
Uh, this older lady, now, I'm not one to judge, but I think this lady may have been high on something. Don't know what it was, could have been, I don't know, but, so we come walking out, and she starts screaming, oh my god, there's leprechauns. Referring to me and my girlfriend, who are both wearing bright green, she has red hair, I have a red beard, yada yada yada, and she's saying, you know, oh my god, there's these two leprechauns. So, we find it hilarious, and I start playing along with it. <laughs> and she's like, where's the pot of gold? So I start doing in the best Irish accent I can do. Which is awful. It's it's awful, but she fell for it. Going like this. And <laughs> I, she's asking me where the pot of gold is. So I, you know, I'm pointing her out to the island, telling her that's where she can find the pot of gold. And sure enough, she goes walking out there with her two dogs looking for it. I, I don't know if this lady was just messing around with us or she really believed that I was a leprechaun. I don't... I, I don't know, you, you know, a lot of there's, there's a lot of there. people out there, I, I don't know, but I, it was, it was a pretty uh, eventful uh, St. Paddy's Day. Well, we gotta, we gotta focus here, let's get this guy, because he seems to not be taking much damage. No. We keep, we're having a problem getting to the right alignment. I'm not burning. There we go. Burning and made some popcorn. I like how the popcorn gives us health. Yeah. That's awesome. It torches us, and then I'm gonna... Yeah, I'll shoot my bow and arrow. Oh! oh there, there he goes, there go. he goes. What are these guys doing? They're standing there in the right. Oh. Ready the corn? I mean, yes, corn Corn is scary. We've established that. Right? Yeah, well, cornfields are scary. Corn giant field. corn? And this is exactly why. Look, the giant corn tries to come eat you. In this one. But he's also giving you popcorn. Which isn't bad. I mean, I can't really hate on people who give me food. But... That's a good point. It's hard to hate on, on givers. Alright, where are you? Come on. Got him about halfway. Yeah, I feel like we're we're missing a, a key ingredient here, like some butter. <laughs> a little bit of salt on it. Mm. Right? Come here. Well, then I like to, I like putting garlic salt. Oh uh, yeah, that's good stuff. Really good. You know, um, it sounds weird, but sometimes a little bit of a um, oh, like a really dry dry cheese, like uh, huh. not not Parmesan, but what's the other one that's kind of like Parmesan? Pe uh, pecorino or something like that. Uh, it's very like finely, uh, finely sure. grated. Anyways, put a little bit of that in your popcorn. It's good. I like that. If you have any uh, secret recipes or weird things you like to do to popcorn, you can leave that down in the comments. Yeah, we let maybe, us know. If we get enough of them, maybe we'll try it out and do a challenge video trying all the different uh, popcorns you guys suggest. Yeah, that could actually be be a lot of fun. So yeah, so just uh, suggest some weird popcorns to us. I feel like we're doing a lot of damage with how much popcorn's coming out. And, just, but it, and you it, look over and it's like his health bar isn't really going down that. I mean, it is, but... Well, every time I hit him with the thing, it's 23 points. Every time you hit him, it's... 16, but... But it's like a there. flurry of yeah. 16s. I mean, if you look at him, he's got less corn on his on his husk. Is he losing corn? Yeah, he's losing oh, corn. Oh, he is. Yeah. I yeah, I see that. <laughs> But I'm wondering if this is kind of glitching out, because he's not doing anything besides the same movement pattern. Well, uh, and then of course the moment I say that, he changes <laughs> He's going to do something different. Right. But like, he did literally the same like spin move like four turns in a row. Alright dude, I need to get some more of the popcorn than you do. Okay. Because I'm... Go for it. Because you keep like, snagging up all the popcorn right as I'm like, trying to Go get at it. it. All right. Well, you know, you know what's gonna have to happen here. Uh, I think we're gonna leave you guys all on a cliffhanger. <laughs> there, there it is. Okay. There it is. Okay. I am. Um, I'm shooting up. 
make a corn sandwich. Oh, oh that'd be gross. A corn sandwich? Just corn know. on a sandwich. I mean, it wouldn't be gross.